While surveying the site of some ancient ruins, two young archaeologists, Derek and Margot, and their nomad friend, Moki, find themselves trapped and sinking in a whirling pool of sand. And when the dust settles, they stare up in awe at a vast chamber filled with giant relics and artifacts from another civilization. And there, at the far end of the cavern, a door with a strange inscription. All who enter these portals pass through time. Until we can figure out just where we are, we'd better stay clear of everybody. What do they look like to you? Well, from their clothing, they might be from some coastal tribes. Like the Hittites? Or the Hivites, Girgashites, Amorites, Jebusites, maybe even Canaanites. What about Socialites, Suburbanites, Parasites, or Satellites? <laughs> Those do. Anyway, I'd say we were back at least a thousand years BC and I They're coming back! Not much cover. We'd better split up. I was watching from the hill, Captain. There definitely were people moving around down here. Israelite spies, come out! Israelite spies, come out! Just a boy. Look for the others. There they are. Hang on to him. Israelite spies. We've got them trapped against the river. We have no choice. Come on. Poor Monty. We can help them only by staying free ourselves. Whew. That was close. But all that counts is that we did get away. Oh. Take the boy to the city! Did you find the other spies? We tracked them as far as the river. They must have drowned. Sorry about the misunderstanding, but we Israelites have to be wary of spies, too. Who were those other soldiers? Canaanites from Jericho, which means you will soon be reunited with your friend. Because today, we march against Jericho and shall capture it. That's sure good news. Oh, if only Moses were alive to see it. But we have another great leader, chosen by Moses himself, Joshua. Children of Israel, 40 years have we wandered the wilderness. Those sufferings are now past, for today as the Lord hath promised, we shall finally cross over the River Jordan and enter the promised land. You priests, men of Levi, will lead us. You will take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on ahead of our people. There it is, the chest containing the Ten Commandments. Isn't this thrilling? But why are they sending it ahead? And without soldiers? It could be captured. Joshua told us the Lord commanded him to do so. The 
loaded down like that, they can't possibly make it across the river. The Israelites have been sighted on the far shore. They're marching this way. Good. They picked the worst possible time. The floodwaters will seize them, and we can easily finish off any who have the bad luck not to drown. Look! There they are! Only four men, and not even soldiers? What is that box? What is it they carry? Move out bravely! Then stop when you reach midstream! Midstream? With a load like that, they'll never make it! The water level's going down! The river's dropping! They're not even getting wet! It's just a free current! You'll see the waters will rise again any minute and sweep them away! My men stand ready. Have them cross the minute the riverbed is completely dry. It's just like the Red Sea parting for Moses. Captain! The, the river! It's gone! <laughs> Didn't I tell you they could do it? Hang on, Moki. Some big-time help is definitely on the way. Right. Next stop, Jericho. Did you hear? The Israelites crossed the river. They're on their way here. They can cross all the rivers they want. <laughs> They'll never get past these walls. Come on, you. Back to work. This is truly a promised land. Look at it. So green and fertile. Our families will grow strong and healthy here. How much further is Jericho? Just past those hills, about three miles. Then your soldiers should get there in no time at all. And we can grow grain and raise cattle. Simeon, what about Jericho? Well, uh, the fact is we've been ordered not to continue. You're not going to Jericho? Joshua has just decreed that first the priests need time to perform their rituals. Rituals? After which we shall celebrate Passover, so unleavened cakes must be prepared. We should be ready to march in three or four days. Three or four days? Why do they not come? They crossed the river three days ago. Well, Captain, one of our spies has just returned from the Israelite camp. Yes, yes, and from what direction will they attack? Sire, they are not marching. He says they have stopped for a special ritual they call Passover. And what sort of ritual is that? Well, they eat unleavened cakes. <laughs> what manner of warriors do they be? They cause the mighty River Jordan to cease, and then they stop to eat cakes. Excuse me, Simeon. Could you tell us if the orders to march have come through yet? No, they haven't. Poor Moki. If we could only at least let him know, we'll be coming for him. Perhaps Chevron here can help. He was in the city as a spy. He knows it well. There is a way you might get a message through. How? By a woman called Rahab who lives in a house atop the wall. She's a friend to Israel. It was she who dropped a rope from her window so I could escape. How do we get in touch with her? She promised to be at her window every evening in case we needed her. I'll take you there. That's her house. I'll leave you now. Two are less conspicuous than three. Oh, wear this, so she'll know you're one of us. Good luck. My baseball arm's out of practice. Here goes again. Israel! I understand. I'll try to find the boy to tell him you are coming and keep his hopes alive. We'll be in that shepherd's hut. Contact us with a mirror. One flash, you could not find him. Two, you did find him. Three, he is well. And when will the Israelites attack? I wish I knew. My army stands ready. We have reached the promised land. What? Are you one of our soldiers or are you an enemy of Israel? 
neither, for I am here as captain of the angels of the Lord. Speak. I am your servant. What do you want me to do? We have received our orders. This morning we march against Jericho. Take up the Ark of the Covenant and have seven priests carry trumpets in front of it. Then march around the city with the armed guard going ahead. And I command all of you, during the entire march, do not give a war cry. Do not raise your voices. Do not say a word. After circling the city once, we shall return to camp. Did he say we just returned to camp? And that's all? Keep at it down there. No sign of the Israelites? Not yet. Perhaps the sight of a man like you frightened them away. Do you have that effect on all the ladies? Your two friends say, be hopeful. They come soon with the Israelites. Something must have gone wrong. There. I saw a flash. Answer. Now for her message. She saw Moki. And he's well. Ah, oh, that makes us all feel better. So, at last they come. And my men are ready. Why are they so quiet? And what do they carry on those poles? I don't know. It's what they carried before them when the river stopped. Sorcery? Magic? Well, whatever it is, it cannot come through solid walls. They're still only marching. It seems like just a parade. If only that roadway were in range of our spears. Sire, look! They're going back to their camp! A retreat? Before joining action? Well, perhaps the strength of our walls discouraged them. They never made a sound. Not a war cry, nothing. Just blew on those accursed trumpets. A parade? That's all it was. Uh, a musical parade. Tomorrow, Simeon, order your men to do exactly the same. We are making war, Simeon. We are sowing uncertainty. We are warring on their minds. So, we wage war on their minds. And meanwhile, I am rapidly losing my own. they doing now? Marching. Marching. They circled the city once, and again they start back to their camp. Sire, a suggestion. Our spies made this map of the Israelite camp. We can attack them. But that might be what they're trying to trick us into doing, leaving the safety of our walls. But they may be thinking we wouldn't attack. Then again, they may be thinking we'd be thinking that's what they would be thinking, that we wouldn't think we... What are they up to? What? Oh! Derek, up there. Is that Moki? Look! They've seen us. Watch. They do this in every Western. Uh, sorry, you'll have to lose it. Uh, but to be honest, it really wasn't you. That's sure a rough way to get your mail. What did he write? Music is nice, but when is D-Day? I'd like to know myself. 
Uh, excuse me, our friend in Jericho sent us this. There seems to be a map on the back of it. It's our camp layout. They're probably going to attack us. We'd better make our move first. And I'm afraid, sir, we'll need more than trumpets. We shall continue as commanded, Simeon. Learn to trust and use man's greatest strength. And it is not sinew of arm. It is faith in the Lord. But, sir... Be patient. Other battles may call for your valor and steel. But Jericho shall be conquered without it. <laughs> It is over, Simeon. We shall not lose a man? Not one. It was thus foretold me by the angel of God. These past days, my commands have been those of the Lord. And he will surely watch over us tomorrow before Jericho. We are in his hands. His will shall be done. You heard the news? Isn't it great? Perhaps not quite so good for your friend. But if the town is captured... The problem is that in a fortress, to prevent an uprising behind their backs, defenders sometimes will do away with prisoners when an attack begins. That does it. We must go in there tonight and get Moki out. Can we hide here overnight? You'll be taking a chance. The king is so nervous, he has soldiers searching everywhere all the time. But perhaps you could conceal yourselves under the flax on the roof. You really think the Israelites will do more tomorrow than just parade? Somehow I have a feeling they're going to do a whole lot more. Children of Israel, today Jericho shall be ours. Today we shall encircle the city seven times. Then upon my command, shout aloud. Shout with all your being. Shout for the glory of the Lord. For he hath said he will give you the city. Prisoners. But no Moki. I hope nothing. Oh, wait. There he is. That's him. Always last in line when there's work to do. Let's follow them. Don't spill so much mortar. When Moki comes back down the ladder, we grab him. And quickly, we'll have only one shot at it. Why can't they at least play a different tune? How many days have they been doing this now? Twenty? Thirty? <clears throat> this is the seventh day. Now it seems like they've been at it forever. And every day, the same old... Uh, there's something different today. They're marching around a second time. They've never done that. It may mean an attack. Alert the men, and tell the spearmen to aim at those horn blowers first. Now! Hey, come back here! Escaped Israelite prisoner! What was the commotion? A prisoner escaped. Well, find him! Do something! 
Soldiers are everywhere. This is no place to hide. Where can we go? Yes. You can hide in the cave under the city where our underground river flows. Just lift the wooden grate at the corner of the street. There are steps beneath. Let's go! back. In case they get through, I'll have the archers on the wall finish them off. They've stopped. Get your men ready for an attack. Let's go! Dead end. Please, don't use that word. What now? The board. What board? The one we just crossed. <laughs> Maybe we can hang ten on it. I command, cry out, cry out for the glory of the Lord. they need us around here anymore. The Lord spared Rahab and all her family because she had helped the men Joshua had sent to her. And the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to give their forefathers and kept every one of the promises he had made to the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 